Hello everyone, Gary here from RC Street Wars and GK Systems Engineering, and today we're talking Hobby Wing. We're gonna go over a myriad of different products, how they work, and then we're gonna get into a tuning video that talks about the software and different strategies for how to use it and some of my basic recommendations. All right, well, let's start with something very basic, and this is the LCD program box. This has been around for a while. It is now being updated to a brand new G3 version. I do not have it yet, but as soon as I have it, I will talk about it. This is the very basic tuning tool. It plugs into the speed controller. You power up the speed controller when it's hooked up to a battery and you go through the menu. What is nice about this is you can hook your speed controller up to the port, use your USB-C cable that they provide and you can hook it up to a laptop. For those who like using a laptop, um, I personally like using a laptop, but you can do it and that's how you do it. The new G3 box will also allow you to hook it up to a laptop. <clears throat> now, let's talk about probably the most popular product for connecting, and this is the Bluetooth OTA. This is called the OTA um, over the air programming box. Why you want this? Well, this is what's going to allow you to have your full data logging. If this is not connected to the speed controller, you will not have the full data logging. The only thing you'll have is some basic memory in the speed controller. But when you plug this in, this holds the memory for your full data logging and you will get access to your run, several minutes of your run, you'll see throttle position, RPM, motor temperature, speedo temperature, current on most models is now available. You'll get it all. What's nice about this, this allows you to connect to your speed controller and program it and retrieve the data via Bluetooth. Well, we may be familiar with Bluetooth and we may be familiar with Wi-Fi. Let's talk about the difference. When you're using modules that are Wi-Fi, you have to be connected to the module's Wi-Fi connection, which means you are now disconnected from other Wi-Fi signals. This makes things like getting an update or downloading something off the internet if you need it challenging. With Bluetooth, you can stay connected to Wi-Fi, get all of your Wi-Fi updates, anything you need, and have a solid, a significantly more robust and faster communication protocol. That's why we use Bluetooth. It is more solid of a connection, it's faster, it is a better protocol. The Bluetooth OTA module is always recommended. I tell everyone, if you have only one thing, have this. Now, you may see here the Hobbywing Tunalizer. The Tunalizer also has Bluetooth. You may notice here, you can actually program your speed controller from here. You can connect the Tunalizer to the Hobbywing app and via the app, send things to the speed controller. All right. Um, the Tunalizer has so many functions, it deserves its own video, but I'm going to breeze through them. So again, because it's Bluetooth, you can connect the Hobbywing app to the Tunalizer and send things to your Speedo. But let's get over a, a few of the other functions. One of the things you're going to see is it's connected to a motor. It is very good at running motors. It can run a motor in two and four pole, and it asks you. This way, you don't have to guess what your RPM is or things like that. So <clears throat> let's go to manual motor test, and we'll set up a manual motor test. You see here, I have a throttle knob, and I can turn the throttle knob, and I can see my test voltage, my current, my current KV, my RPM, things like my rotor symmetry, and I can whiz it up and down. But if I was to go to the full auto test, okay, it will perform many tests and then report all the data to you. And because I've already configured this to four pole, everything is correct for a four pole. Also, what's nice about the Tunalizer, if you notice, my test voltage is 7.4. I can run this at 7.4 or 
or 3.7, but because we raised these things 7.4 volts, it is really nice to test it at 7.4 volts. Now you see I have my current, my KV, end bell timing, end bell deviation, rotor symmetry, hall, and hall signal deviation. You see these are actually, I just took this out of a box. It's a great motor, runs fantastic. Very happy with these motors. Now, <clears throat> if you are running a two pole, you just go to poles, four, two, enter, whatever you want to do, and everything is correct for that. Now I'm going to disconnect it from the motor, and I'm going to show you another nice feature about the tunalizer. The tunalizer can also be used to check your electronic speed controller. Now, not just a hobby wing speed controller, any speed controller. What's nice about this is sometimes you may have some settings that you want to see how they're working and you may need it to come in at a very particular point in time. You can do this very easy with the tunalizer. So the first thing you're always going to need to do is connect it to the tunalizer just like you would your receiver. And then you're going to calibrate and it's the normal process for calibrating. You'll go your full throttle, neutral, whatever the sequence is for your particular speed controller. And it's by adjusting this knob. And once it's calibrated, you can now check it out. So let's turn on the speed controller. Okay. And let's go to throttle output. You see right here, I'm at neutral zero, but I can control the motor and you notice that I can hold it at a very precise point in time. This is very important when you're doing specific checks because you may need something to happen at a certain throttle position or RPM, whatnot. Now, you can also check your brakes. I can go from here right to my brake and see how the brakes work, all right? I'm not gonna get into everything that you can be doing with this, but you see that this is a very powerful tool because it can program your speed controller, you can connect to it via Bluetooth, you can test your speed controller independent of having a radio. Highly recommend the Tunalizer and the OTA. The OTA is a must at any time. This is the thing that you really, really need. What's nice about the Tunalizer, in addition to doing all these tests, if you're just playing with your motor, whether you're a drag racer or you're racing on-road or off-road and you've taken your motor apart, maybe you had to take it apart for tech inspection and you need to put it back. You want to make sure that you put it back exactly how you got it. You run your motor test and you check your end bell timing. Did you put it back exactly how you took it apart? Maybe you want to try different rotors in some of your motors and you want to see what the current draw is, what the change in KV, RPM, things like that. This is going to be the tool that will allow you to understand the impact of the changes that you've made. Very, very good tool. I highly recommend it. Well, I think this covers the current range of Hobby One products. We're going to get into connecting to um, the new XR8 G3 um, speed controller. We're going to do a firmware update. We're going to go through the programming and the basic programming. And I'm going to explain all the different parameters to you guys. So stay tuned. Let me change over to the programming section of this video.